What is up guys, JGP Aquatics here. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video on the water parameters in a flower horn tank. Um, I mean, it's mostly tropical tanks, but I'm more, you know, I'm talking more about flower horns, of course, because that's all I have, so. Um, I know I talk about a lot about the filters, and I talk about a lot about these two products, the Stability by Seachem and Prime by Seachem. I'm very big about these products because these have made a big, huge impact in my tanks uh, in a very positive way. Uh, they help my tanks, you know, uh, produce bacteria when I first set them up. So I just want y'all to know, like, it's very important that you put, when you, before you put a flower horn in a new tank, you must make sure the parameters are right and the the bacteria is nice and you know accumulated to where it won't be harmful for the fish and uh, I'll talk about it more, I'll go into depth I do have some water from Apollo's tank and I'm gonna make like a little science project here I got some gloves, I got a little syringe uh, his water and I have this master test kit by API uh, if you do own flower horns this will be a huge huge lifesaver um, test their water you know three times a month, twice a month, um, as long as you know that they're, you know, in tip-top shape, I would suggest you to get these, because this is going to be your lifesaver. I just purchased this, actually my girlfriend got me it, shout out to my girlfriend, but I did, she did give me this, um, because I, I was at work and I told her, you know, please give me one of these, because I do need to check his, you know, parameters, because if, if the ammonia spikes, I, I'll go more into depth while I'm doing it. But, um, which is why I wanted to just make this video. I did, however, add an AquaClear 50 onto Apollo's tank. The last time I made a video, I had the Aquion Flow 20 on it. So, this one, I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of it. I'm pretty sure it does a good job in the long run. But I like quick results, you know. So, this will, is your go-to. You know, you look up the best filters for Flower Horn, and this is the first one to pop up. Um, AquaClear 50. It uh, filters up to 50 gallons. I don't know if you can see. It's like a different language in the back. But right here it says 20 to 50 gallon. So I mean, it over filters your. I have them in a 29 gallon. So it's over filtering 15, 20, uh, yeah, like 15 gallons, 20, 20 gallons, put it. Um, it does filter over. And it's always good to over filter than under filter because you never want to max out your filter, which is why I switched it because this one is for up to 30 gallons. So it's over filtering one gallon of water, which is you don't really have too much to play with in terms of this filter. You would have to really be big on cleaning, on changing the filter, the cartridges, uh, the ammonia pad. And it's just, I don't know, I don't like the pads. I've, I've told, I've said it in my other videos, the pads just, I just feel like they get really dirty and they don't not, they don't not capture as much as uh, media as you want because um, that media is very important for your fish's life, which is why I get this one. This one, it filters out and it's pure, it's clear water that's just coming out of the tank. When it goes into the intake, it just cleans it all out. I mean, you do have three filters, you know what I mean? It says right there, the water just comes up through the the ammonia pad, the carbon, and the biomass. So, I mean, it's just over, it's filtering, cleaning every single little particle in your tank, and you're gonna have that clear water that you want. So, I'm sorry if the light is too bright, guys, um, cause that bright, that light is very bright. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna get right into it. So it does come with a booklet. You know, you have your Freshwater Master Test booklet uh, tells you, you know, directions, blah, 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 safety. Uh, that's why I got these gloves. So in case, you know, in case you don't, you know, your parents aren't watching, guys, make sure y'all get some gloves. Uh, you can go the extra mile and get some safety glasses. Um, but yeah, the back has a chart on your pH, your high range pH, ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite. So... I'm going to go more into depth on that. So, when filtering, when cycling a new tank, you must make sure that your nitrites, your nitrates, sorry, your nitrates are high. Your nitrates are the bacteria that's going to accumulate soon in the tank and it's going to be beneficial for your fish. 
and um, you do want, you know, so if it's high, don't worry, it is perfectly fine. Uh, the nitrite is the one that you really have to watch for. Um, that one, if you if you see a spike in nitrite, do a water change, uh, get some, you know, stability. This stability is for rapidly and safe, safely established biofilters prevents new tank syndrome. So when new tank syndrome hits your tank, that's exactly what's going to happen. Your nitrite, your nitrite will rise up. So that's what you call a pneumonia spike. Um, and of course, you can also get the, the chlorine remover ammonia. This is basically like a synthetic type of ammonia you can put in your tank. That way you can, you know, process faster. And it also, it's like a lock. So it like controls it and locks it into the, play, into the safe, you know, level that you want it to be. So yeah, you have your nitrite, your ammonia, of course. You do not want that high. Um, of course, when your tank is cycling, your ammonia is going to be high because they start to poop. But throughout, you know, throughout the life of your fill of your tank, watch the ammonia. Don't let it go up to eight. Let it try to try to be, you know, in the in between, you know, light green. And then the pH, of course, anything less than eight. Uh, anything less than eight, above six and a half. I would suggest seven, seven to eight. Oh no, sorry, seven to I guess like eight ish, like seven, seven point two, seven point five, seven point eight. But don't let it rise up. When it goes up, it starts to affect your fish. So let's do this real quick. So I'm just gonna put a glove on. This is pretty fun. I am gonna show y'all Apollo, how he's doing. He's doing very good. Uh, I switched this tank. I put the second tank, this AquaClear 50. I put it on Sunday, I believe. I bought this one on Sunday. I just didn't want, I didn't want to pay the price for this one hurting him. That's exactly what I didn't want. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get that filter as soon as I get it. Cause the, my other two tanks, the first one I had Dexter in, uh, I had this one running for about three, three, four months and I had gravel in the tank. And I learned my lesson guys, you know, if you do have a flower horn and if you do have substrate or uh, gravel, make sure you do a proper cleaning, take the gravel out, you know, wash it off. You know, you can even mix it with like, I wash it off and with the tap water and then mix it with the dirty water. That way you can, you know, gather up some bacteria and then throw it back in the tank. But I don't like doing that because it just starts to accumulate the, the bacteria on the rocks and then you'll get your cloudy water. And this filter did not help out whatsoever. It was, it was under filtering, you know. One, one gallon is not really gonna do much on over filtering on a flower horn because they, they, they produce a lot of waste. I'm gonna move this light a little bit because it is kind of bothering me, guys. So, right there. Boom. Better. I just like, my skin tone was like very bright. It looked like a freaking egg. So anyways, let's get right to it before I bore you out to death. So you get, it comes with four test tubes, you know, for, well, it does have five, so. So you get your five test tubes. I'm going to put two gloves on because I really don't want these chemicals on my hands. So you don't want these chemicals on your hands, guys, because you are messing around with ammonia. Um, and all types of chemicals that you don't want on your skin. The freaking glove just tore. Safety hazard. If you were in school, they'd probably tell you to get another glove, right? All right, cool. So you got these four, and then I'm gonna test the nitrite. Nitrate. I'm gonna test the pH. And I will test the, huh, okay, with two nitrites. Nitrate, nitrate, dissolution, three, and five. Cool, cool, cool. The ammonia, ammonia. Okay, so this is A. Okay, so it tells you on the bottle right here it says add eight drops for this is bottle number one and then this is bottle number two at eight so it's to basically telling you how to do it that way you won't mess up I just dropped the tubes and this is nitrite bottle one nitrite bottle two so this is one two then the pH solution 
is the high range pH. I'll do the, the regular pH and then the nitrate solution, test solution. Nitrate, nitrate. I believe it comes with two. This is so confusing, guys. I wasn't the one that did it the first time. My girlfriend actually tested it for me. But I will see it right now. I will read the instructions. Because I just want to make sure on that I'm doing it right. Because I don't want to. Direction. Primary test tubes in line, add 10 drops to the nitrate test solution number one, and then vigorously shake the nitrate test solution number two. Okay, one, two, cool. Nitrate, nitrate, nitrate. It only says bottle number one on that one. Okay, cool. This is nitrate test. We'll do the nitrate test first, guys. That way I won't be reading and then just boring on just y'all just looking at the top of my head. So yeah, we'll just do this real quick. It says fill five millimeters in test tube. So we'll do that. Right. I'm gonna grab the water and I don't wanna touch the water with my hand. Parameters different. And boom. Cool. Alright, so five millimeters done right there. Five millimeters of water. Now, it says grab test number one. This is nitrate, and this is nitrate. Cool. So we'll do the nitrate. This is the good bacteria in your tank. So give it a little shake, and then it says add 10 drops. So add 10 drops of this. So that's that. That was nitrate number one, bottle one, ten drops. And then it says, shake the shit, eh, shake the hell out of this one. It does say shake, Vigor rigorously shake the nitrate. <laughs> rigorously, <laughs> aggressively. Shake the nitrate test solution number two out of 30 seconds. For at least 30 seconds. Oh wow, I didn't do that with the first one. <laughs> that's funny. No, actually, it said it didn't say anything about the first one. So there you shake the nitrate test solution number two for at least 30 seconds. This step is extremely important to insecure accuracy and test results. Now add 10 drops of this nitrate test solution. So I guess this is mandatory. Just to get a proper accuracy of the nitrate. And it says cap the test tube and shake vigorously for a minute. God damn, you gotta shake everything here. All right, cool. Should've been 30 seconds. So then add 10 drops. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. 10 drops of that, 10 drops of the other one, cap it, shake it for a minute. God damn, it's crazy. I'm just gonna do this one, guys, because I don't want the video to be too long, honestly. I'm just doing this just to show y'all, you know, how to properly do it. I mean, it's common sense, but I just wanna, wanna try to, you know, know that this is very important in y'all's tank, and I do it, you know. I. I love my flower horns and I really want them to really be healthy. Don't want them to be, you know, I, I love my flower horns. I just, I just love them. 
I mean, when I, when I switched the filters, with, the reason why I got it is because I saw his reaction. You know, the next day in the morning, I tried playing with him, um, and he wasn't responding as I wanted him to. Or either that, he was asleep, but it scared me to the point where I bought another filter. Well, I had to get, sorry, I bought the mastery kit. And uh, I don't know if y'all seen, but Seachem has these, but they have them in liters. I got the four liter jug of that stability. I'll show it to you in a bit. Uh oh. This just dripped. This just dripped, guys. That's very bad. See, this is why you wear gloves, guys. This is why you wear gloves. I mean, it says vigorously. It told me to vigorously shake it. I mean, why would you tell me to vigorously shake it if it's gonna be all freaking. It's gonna go everywhere. Those are bad instruction manuals. Look at that. It started coming out. I wouldn't get on my face, that's all. I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> so yeah. It's been over a minute. I don't wanna shake this too much because then it's gonna go everywhere. Where's the little pad? Okay. So. This is the nitrate. So the nitrate, guys. It's about a five. It's hard to tell. I don't know, y'all tell me, guys. Uh, it's probably like a... Zero. Nah, it's orange. It's like a 10. Nah, probably like a 6. But yeah, y'all get the gist. Um, I'm gonna check the pH real quick, guys. The pH, pH test, directions. 5 millimeter test tube, add 3 drops of the pH to solution. Cap the test tube, invert several times to make solution. All right, this one's pretty simple. Probably the simplest one out of all of them. Cause they, I know they, they sell uh, test strips, guys. Uh, I use, I used to use the test strips. I, I got the ammonia test strips by Jungle. Um, those are pretty good. They, they, they did the job. I mean, it's just a one-time thing. Just test the ammonia. I mean, ammonia. Yeah, it was ammonia. Sorry, the ammonia test strips. And you just test the ammonia, and if it's yellow, if it's green. If it's yellow, you're good. If it's green, stress or danger, something like that. But I mean, for for the most part, it did, it did a pretty good job. So I recommend the test strips. They're not as accurate as the solution, but people do use the test strips. I, I used them before. I mean, it's something that people don't want to do because it's science and you learned it at school and you don't want to go back to school and. I don't know, it's just something against people that have weird things about being in school again. This is what they teach you in school, man. I mean, pH, nitrate, nitrite, it's biology, it's, you know, it's a uh, nano, what's it called? Nanobiology or something like that. That shit is very, it's intense, man. I think I know more about biology than I used to, than I used to learn in high school. I don't look cool. And it's common sense, honestly, it's very common sense. So add three drops of pH test solution. One, two, three. Boom. Let's check his pH. Cause I have a pH um, reader by Seachem in in his tank in Apollo's tank, and uh, I love those test strips, man. They're, I mean, they're not test strips. They're literally cards that you shove in their tank, and they stick to the side of the tank, and those read the pH. And there's one for the ammonia, one for the pH. So I always. I just check the little cards, boom, it has a little circle, and it's like a little pie. So whatever the color in the circle is to whatever the pie, you know, is showing, then that's what your water is testing at. I feel like those are very accurate, because every time I used to, like, when the tanks get dirty in Dexter and Dorothy's tank, they, the ammonia, of course, it rises, and then the pH starts to, like, lower. So I do a water change. When I do a water change, the pH... Well, actually, the pH never really spikes or anything. The pH stays at like 7.8, 7.5. So the pH is really good in my water. 
Um, but the ammonia is the one that, you know, of course spikes up when it's the water changes due. So after the three days that I don't clean the tank, the pH is already up. And it's not even up, it's like at the stress level. Not even at the stress level, but it's like, I don't know, it's like, there's ranges. It's safe, um, watch or something like that, and then stress, and then danger, and then toxic. So toxic, you don't, you don't want that. So this is the pH, and this is what I mean, guys. pH right here, boom. This is at 7.6. So this is what you want your pH at, guys. So 7.6 pH um, nitrate is at, it's very orange, so it's about 20 ppm. So, I mean, that's very good. Nitrate is just the beneficial bacteria in your tank. Um, you don't want that to lower. Lower is, I feel, I think it's bad if, if it goes to zero, because zero is out. But I, honestly, I honestly think zeroing it out is when you have, when your tank is completely established, when you have a, a fundamental economy economy what the heck uh ecosystem in your tank of bacteria so i said economy Pfft, the heck same financial all right so i'm gonna just do one more just for the heck of it 21 minute video let's see uh what should i do real quick i'm gonna do the ammonia oh you know what let's do the nitrite the nitrite the nitrite bottle So this one's pretty simple. You just add a five. I'm gonna try to hurry this up. That way I can show y'all. Apollo. I really appreciate the comments on Apollo. He's beautiful. Um, I'm very excited. I'm just happy that I got him. Man. I got really lucky with that fish. He's a he's a very good grade uh, flower horn. Uh, a lot of people that don't know about flower horns, or if y'all don't know about competition grade flower horns. You know, Apollo is one because of the cross of the cross uh, pearls in his head. Those cross pearls, man, they in the competitions they give you good points on those. So it, when his head is big and then his pearls cross his head and they're real, real prominent on his head, like, bro, you got yourself a a competition grade flower horn. So this is the nitrite. So. Try at five. It's pretty simple, pretty cool too. So I just add a five. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Let's put six in there. Okay. Make sure they're all closed, guys. All right. I don't want no spills. So this is the nitrite. So it should zero out, if I'm not mistaken. If it's zeroed out, then the tank is established and, you know, Apollo's just gonna have a beautiful life. <laughs> He's gonna have, you know, like a very good life. I mean, that, that's what it, what it means, guys, honestly. It's like, that's their health, you know? It's like us with this, with the oxygen that we breathe in. You know, if there was something in the air and we couldn't breathe it, we'd have to wear a gas mask, you know? It's like, it's not unnecessary is what it is, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, you know, parameters on in your fish tank, especially flower horns, because they're, they're so interactive and they're just so happy, full of life. And then when you see them sick, it just break, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart to see any fish, but I mean, in terms of flower horn, they're just very active fish. You know, they're always in a good mood, always hungry, always eating, always playful, always, you know, they're just always doing something. They're just curious fish, but to see them, you know, her, it just it breaks my heart, you know, it really breaks my heart. So this, as I, as y'all can tell, the nitrite has zeroed out. Thank God. Um, oh man, I'm happy because, man, I'm just very happy because night. This is like one of the most tedious thing to setting up a, a, a new tank, guys. And I haven't set up a tank since I set up Dorothy's tank. But yeah, guys. I mean, look at that, blue, baby blue. I mean, zero. I mean that's you know you can't go any more wrong than that. It does take it does tell you to wait five minutes for the results, but I feel like the results are instant, you know. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean those three are the main ones you have to concern. I mean high range pH is more of like hardiness of the water. Um, of course, you know people tell you flower horns are very hardy, 
but in terms of of them um in terms of them being hardy fish that doesn't mean you can put them in freaking 8.5 9.5 you know water uh that's too alkaline for them uh it will affect them very bad it, it in the like it would, it will make their scales far i believe so because it's 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 in the terms where it's very bad for them it's not even the ph that when when the ph is high the nitrite and the nitrate doesn't stabilize as well as when the ph is 7.6 7.8 you know four flower horns suitable for flower horns i'm taking i'm talking mainly flower horns here guys so if you're if you do have different types of fish you know i'm not really into more of like the tropical like you know angel fish and all that because every fish has a different ph some of them have the same but in terms of uh, tropical fish and freshwater fish and um, saltwater fish like all that is just all different parameters guys so always keep that in mind but yeah guys i really appreciate y'all appreciate y'all watching this video uh it was just to, to inform y'all you know let y'all know like this is some serious matter right here this is like what this is the the main foundation for a fish tank uh i hope this video helps y'all you know if y'all do have any questions feel free to message me on facebook feel free to message me on twitter and on instagram and of course on here so uh, i hope y'all enjoyed the video i'm going to show y'all uh, apollo before i end this video my hands are all sweaty okay Hope my hands didn't get off. So yeah, guys, let's go. Let's go look at Apollo real quick. So I do want y'all to see him. I already have the light set up over here. I was gonna make a video over here, but uh, I didn't want to walk all the way back over there. So yeah, guys, it's Apollo, man, living in his beautiful fresh tank. <laughs> He's so full of life, guys. I love him. He's so fast. Look at him. He beats me, man. Look at that. Yeah, it's Apollo, guys. Say hi, Apollo. I'll show y'all Dexter and Dorothy. Y'all haven't seen them in a minute. I've been all excited with uh, Apollo over here. They're doing perfectly fine, too, guys. I mean... They're just living life. I need to do their water change today. Their pearls are popping out. The little heads are popping out. My little females. Dorothy over here. I don't know what she's eating. What are you eating? I need to clean their tanks. I haven't cleaned them. Well, it's been about four days I haven't cleaned their tanks. So I try to clean them every three days, but sometimes things get in the way. But yeah, guys. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. I know it took a long time, but it's all worth it if y'all sit down and watch it. Very, very useful information in this video, guys. I will make more videos like this. Uh, I don't want to not talk about anything or don't review something. Because I know there's a lot of videos out there that don't tell you specifically what you want to know. And this is why I'm doing it. So, thank y'all again, guys. JGP Aquatics, we are out. Peace.